can still to this day remember the first time I ever laid eyes on a BMW A31. I think it may have been sometimes around 92, 93, I was about 15, 16 years old. I used to buy car magazines and uh, my dad sent me to go uh, buy a pack of cigarettes for him at a gas station. The second I stepped into the gas station at the magazine rack, I saw this incredibly beautiful BMW E31 on the cover of one of the car magazines. So I immediately ran towards it. I couldn't stay away from it, it was just so beautiful. I uh, had to just have that magazine. I mean, obviously I couldn't uh, afford the car, so the magazine was the best, next best thing I could have and afford. I forgot about my dad's cigarettes, so I spent the money on um, buying the magazine instead. It was a, it was an experience I will never forget. I brought the magazine home, I looked at it, I uh, cut the pages out, put them on my wall, and it became my motivation for many, many years to come, which would uh, lead into uh, the 2007-2008 years uh, when I was finally able to buy my first one, which was a 1995 red-on-tan BMW 840Ci. I fell in love with the car even more then. It was, uh, it was just amazing. It, it brought me into uh, the Supercar Sunday world. It brought me uh, a whole new set of friends and, and car family people, which now in the past 13 years have become uh, my go-to place, my go-to friends and, and uh, the extended car family. Imagine being 17 years old and you're sitting in a uh, small Volkswagen Golf driving down the highway and suddenly you see this amazing, beautiful, and majestic of a car, the BMW A31, pop-up lights, wet shape, sports car coupe, driving next to you. It was, uh, it was just the most amazing experience I've ever had. The car on the road still today looks incredibly beautiful. It, turns heads and it's just one of the most beautiful cars I've ever seen in my life. In 1994, BMW introduced the BMW 850 CSI to the American market. The BMW 850 CSI is a 12 cylinder 380 horsepower Grand Touring Coupe with pop-up lights, beautiful wedge shaped design and all the luxury amenities uh, the 90s could afford you. Now imagine yourself back in 1994. You are driving down the US highways. If you owned and drove a BMW E31 back in the 90s, you were probably an executive of a company, you were a famous rapper, you were a famous baseball player, you would have had to, had to have money to be able to buy this car at $100,000 or $108,000 back in those days, which equals to about $170,000, $180,000 in today's money. But imagine also the amount of attention you would get in a car like this. I, for one, when I saw this car back then, I thought it was an absolute spaceship. Even to this day, when I look at it from a distance, coming down the road, it just uh, I, I'm still awestruck by this day to the state about these cars. Altogether, BMW made 225 cars for the North American market. While most of the cars were ordered and specced by the dealers, a few of the cars were orders by individuals themselves under the individual uh, program at the BMW factory. All cars came with style 21 17 inch throwing star wheels. They all came with wood, full leather interior, 380 horsepower engine, manual six speed, and an M factory built S70 engine. This CSI 1994, Number 31 out of the 225 made for the US market has 37,600 original miles on it. The paint is all original. It has extensive records going all the way back to the original owner. It has had um, clutch replaced. It's been regularly serviced. The only modifications on the car are a Dynan exhaust and Dynan chipset for performance. Other than that, everything else is all original on the car. The car currently has no issues. Everything has been sorted on it and is ready to go to the next custodian. I will love and cherish it for years to come.